Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Retro Shining Force. So first things first, I wanted to apologize. I do not know why the episode did not go up on Thursday as it was supposed to. I'm not sure why. It was just processing forever. It was constantly at two minutes in the last part of processing. It made it like 98%. It said two minutes remaining. I thought it was okay. Closed out the tab. It continued to process all day long. I thought my episode was up. It wasn't. And it really irked me because that day just went completely wrong. So unfortunately, that's what happened. But what's going to happen is I'm going to have Final Fantasy, like I mentioned in my post, will be returning to this, you know, we'll be back to normal next Friday. Uh, for now, the rest of the week will be as is, you know, Saturday is still going to be Let's Retro or today is Let's Retro. Sunday will still be No Man's Sky, Monday, Borderlands, so on and so forth. So everything else will still remain the same. It's just today that's a little off because, you know, two days back to back of uh, Let's Retro. Mm. But I digress. Let's move on. We're in chapter five, Gateway to the Hidden Shrine. Oh, Lordy. Oh, let me full screen this thing. After a week at sea, Sentry spotted a horde of monsters approaching the ship. The ship is surrounded by monsters. A tomb, prepared to defend it. Where? Where do you guys see monsters at? Oh, it's sea bats. And whatever you are. A conch. Uh, there's several of you. Shellfish. Oh, great. Wing knights. Alright. Let's get this going then, I guess. Yeah. You guys can walk up all you want. You're gonna get dusted on. I'm gonna have Domingo move over here. Oh, here come the bats. No. You don't get to hurt Domingo. Wow, you are an ugly looking. Oh my god. I don't even know how to describe you. Alright, we're gonna just plop you over there. Of course, more of you guys. Why, why am I not surprised? Alright, you're still in range. We have conch. Conch? Conch? However, it evaded. No target. Okay. Nice. Good damage while we're right. i just drop you up there. Take as much damage as you can. 14 damage. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Alright. Let's see if Luke can one-shot him. Well, I mean, almost. Which means Gort should be able to kill this guy. Nice. Good work, Gort. Alright, we're going to take care of this bat real quick. There we go. Domingo is level 3. Awesome. Yeah, you missed. You're coming up. That's a mistake. You decided to challenge me. That was a <laughs> massive mistake. Alright. Yep, that's cute. Have you attack him. You missed. That's awesome. Have you attack him. Don't miss. There you go. Get some damage in. You can attack him too, why not? There you go. As long as you guys don't miss, I don't care. 
Man, this fast forward button has made this let's play so much better. Oh, sweet Jesus. If I did not have this button, I would actually still be in tears. Like, playing through this game would be a nightmare. Oh, there goes Hans. That's not good. So, we're gonna just cast Blaze level 2. Hope for the best. Alright, Andre's level 2. That's awesome. Don't think your blaze spell is gonna reach yet, yeah, no. So we're just gonna have to do that from here. All right, I'll take it. Yep, that's cute. You do negligible damage. You're gonna get one shot. All right, looks level six. Awesome. All right, and then you're gonna get one shot, or almost one shot. Let's see, what does Domingo want to do? Freeze on the sea bat. Eight damage, I'll respect it. Alright, that conch is dead. I'll cast the higher tier blaze. Make sure you stay dead. Righty. You walk over here. Yep. Nope. Y'all don't do enough. Ah, oh, you didn't even. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal the mingle. My boy needs it. There we go. I mean, it seems like the strategy here is actually pretty easy if you have the right people. You know, just make sure nobody dies. Because you could just let the, the shellfish and the conch walk up to you. Especially if you have two users with a heat axe, you know, decimating health bars. This actually makes me wonder how many of those weapons there are that have stats like that. And see if they're worth actually collecting for everybody else as well. Because if there's more weapons like this, it'd almost be better just to not end a battle quickly so you can get multiple copies of that same weapon. Because if, imagine if there was a lance like that. Or like the elven arrows. Where else I might be able to get some of those? Because having two people like Hans where they can actually, you know, use their range and make it useful, besides just having mages to, you know, spam spells... It would actually be pretty awesome. You know, I could actually battle in a completely different style than I am right now, where it's right now it's just relying on, you know, either range with, um, with my mages. So, Tao and Domingo. Well, Domingo's not range, he's more so just mobility, so he can get to those people that are far away. But then I have the range with Tao and, uh, What's her name? I can't. Henri. You know, having them for range is really good. And then, as well as uh, my knights for both defense and range. It's it's a fun way to play the game, yes. But it I feel like it would be a little bit better if I had two people like Hans. Like, act. Ooh, Jesus. Because the mages have, as you can tell, no health. They get hit once and they're like down to nothing. I'm gonna hit you. Like I actually can't hit you. What about you? Can I hit you? No. This is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright. Get as much damage onto the knight as you can, because I know you're gonna die anyway. Mingo should be able to kill him, no problem. There we go. Mingo's level 4. Freeze level 2. Have a 2 mock up over here. And May over here. Oh, you just killed yourself. 
Yeah. Oh, wow, he switched targets. I'll take it. I will not complain about you switching targets. Because now I can walk up here. And just uh, decimate you in one shot. There we go. That fixes that problem. And this should fix this problem. See, like, this was probably, what, maybe five, ten minute battle? The ship was damaged in the battle. We must repair it. That island over there. Thank you for destroying the monsters. My name is Shell of Waral. You can repair your ship in Waral. Please follow me. It's a whole mermaid. I've heard of Waral. You should be able to get the ship fixed there. I mean, if we're just going on a grand line, I mean, yeah, bad, bad One Piece joke, but okay. No, we're, we're here now, on a tropical island. Welcome to Waral. Right, let, me, let me give these guys some, something different. Waral is a great place, but nothing ever happens here. I'll give him like a chill voice. I wanna visit Ring Reef, would you go with me? Sure. Hey, we can't go there right now, it's too dangerous. Maybe later. All right, I guess so. Whoa. Well, there's no law that says the king can't own a shop. Can I help you? Wait, aren't you dead? What would you like? Uh, anything else? No, thank you, do come again. Like, is that the actual king? Greetings. We will gladly repair your ship if you tell the others of our lovely island. Oh, this is the king of Waral. Okay. Welcome to Waral Castle. The king is in. Welcome to Waral Castle. The king is in. Interesting. A word of warning. Do not go past the buoys in the water. A danger lurks out there. Can I open these? And the bread of life, I guess. Still have no clue what that does, but okay. Defense potion, but can't carry it. Uh, items. I shall give people more items. The bread of life. Uh, Pell can hold that. And use defense potion. Yeah. Transfer that over to Alberoy, who has way too many swords. Alright, so once I. I'll like skip through this, I'll browse, see what items I can find. But once I find everything, I'll go ahead and just be like, hey, look, you know, this is where we're supposed to go anyway. So I will catch you guys in just a moment. Let's see what we got in this third chest. A medical herb, nothing of value. All right guys, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Just give me a little bit. I'll basically have like a quick cut, a jump cut to any items that I find that are somewhat useful. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Please make yourself at home. Okay, no money. So we're all room. Tropical room. Did you come here to see the famous Ring Reef by chance? I thought so, but you can't go there right now. It's too dangerous to even get close. Huh. Interesting. Hello, Atum. Remember me, Boken? Water's great as long as you don't get eaten. You know there's an enormous building under this island. It's amazing. Who are you? I don't remember you. Alright. You. Shara. Need you to move. The current could dash your boat against the rocks and still want to go, yes. Be careful. Ah, hell. So it, it, that was scripted. I wasn't allowed to leave. Well, I'm glad to see you're up. You were thrown from your ship. I rescued you. Strange doings. The water and reef vanished, and the strange creature appeared. It might have something to do with the legend of a shining path that leads to Met Metapha. Legend says that Metapha is the land of the ancients. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. Anything over here? Nothing? Just that? 
Whoa. Skeletor. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing here? I must inform the master. Come back here, Skeletor. Whoa. I invoke a path before me. What? Shining Force! Oh, so close. So close! I shall destroy you all! Alright, well, I don't know what's going on here, but... Clearly, it's something bad. Let's fix that. A Master Mage. Okay, what in the what? Hold on. Alright, Lomingo sits there. Alright, you guys walk up. A worm, your actual worm. Oh my god. What nightmare fuel. Some dunes type thing right there. Oh, what? Why is there sea bats underground? Or what I can presume to be underground. Hellhounds, hellhounds. That's cute. I need a tomb to move very, very... Wow, that movement is nice, though. I need a tomb to be as safe as possible. And, like, surrounded by everyone. Yep, 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 yep. Y'all, come on. Bring it on, boys. I'll take you all down, boy. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Blaze level three on the worm, and boom. Skeleton, worm, and skeleton down. It worked out. And now I kill the hellhound, and boom. Was it, wait, wait, wait. Did that say 49? Holy, Luke was not messing around. Oh, um, wait, can I attack this? Okay, I didn't think so. I was just wondering. Oh, I was not sure what that was about. Alright, Gort, you can go that way. Alright, Domingo, you back him up. Alright, you can attack. Skeleton. Alright, Ken, back him up as well. Attack the bat. Nice. Alright. Henri stays there. The worms are running. The hellhound's coming. The bats are approaching. Okay, you missed. I can still hit you from here, though. Nice. Good work, Guns. Yep, 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 yep. More hellhounds. Cute. It's awesome. Sea bat's not moving. That sea bat's going up. Hunts. Attack the sea bat. That bat needs to die. I don't care about anybody else but these bats right now. Because these bats are actual nightmares. Alright, and the tomb can hit the hellhound. Nice. Good work. The tomb, you're actually doing some damage. Oh, wow. Okay, good job, Chris. Level 8. Oh, you learned slow. It's pretty neat, I guess. That's cute. Mm, middling damage. All right, let's put you there. Hmm. How long? There's four enemies here, but only three people attacking. All right, Gort. Oh wow, Gort didn't actually one shot. What a miracle. <clears throat> I have freeze level two now. So, uh, yeah, everybody take some damage. There goes the Hellhound, there goes the Bat, there goes the other Bat. Delicious. Ken, finish him off. Nice. Aw, oh, that's cute, man. That's so cute. You thought you could do something. Good job, man. Hmm. Cast Blaze. Overkill? Yes. But is it fun? Yes. On his level three now. All right, they're running. They're running. More bats. More hounds. <clears throat> Guns can block off the path. Hit the skeleton. Hit the skeleton again. Cut him off. Some more. More damage. Ooh, nice double attack, Balbaroy. 
Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. They are trying. They're, they're, they're putting in effort. Alright, Chris. Can't do anything here. Yeah, you attack Bulbaroy. Right. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that one, but okay. Uh, I'd want you to go this way, I guess. Alright, that hellhound is gone. <clears throat> Alright, uh, you know what? I'll leave Henri here. Hey, no, she's not close enough there. I think she's still... Yeah, she's still a square off no matter where she goes. Alright, so we're gonna have her go... Up here. Alright, May... Finishes off the Hellhound. May's level 5. Awesome, awesome. Alright, we're gonna put Ken here. Oh, the bats are approaching. And that one's dead. Finally! Guns is level 9, nice. Uh, one square away, huh? Yep, one square away in either direction. Unfortunate. Put a tomb back here. Put Chris over here. Alright, I'll have you walk up. You're walking this way. Alright, you decimate that skeleton. Thank you. You decimate the worm. Hmm. Blaze level 2. Yeah, get some good damage on the bats. not mean okay you know what we're just gonna undo that because that was not how that was supposed to go at all you were supposed to be over here now you attack the t-bat there we go there you go that's better i'm not gonna stick you there because that's a suicide wish all right and then port over here um, freeze level two. Putting in some good damage. Ow. I might have accidentally just picked the scab that I was not supposed to pick, and that hurt like a lot. Good job, Luke. Alright, Henri can finish him off with a blaze. Alright, there we go. That one's down. Last but not least. Worm and the Master Mages after that. That yeah, Worm, you're not going to do much, buddy. I'm sorry. You're the least threatening character here right now. I do not want to risk that. I can do this. That ought to kill everybody. Or close. There we go. Yeah, like I said, close. There we go. Master Mage is now defeated. Ah, I was so close. The way to Mephata. Wait, what? Jesus. Ah, I was so close. The way to Metapha. Almost ours. I don't know how I'm gonna pronounce that. Metapha? Metapha? It is interesting. Soon, I was waiting for you. I used that mermaid to bring you here. It is the voice of the spirit from the pool of the ancients. The shining path lies behind this door. It leads to the land of the ancients. The key to the accursed door is there. I shall now open the way to the shining path. What? What is this? You bamboozled me. No. Though it takes all of my remaining strength, you shall not use the path. 
Dude, you just died. The voice of the spirit is heard again. Alas, the path is blocked. Two things are needed to break free, Dark Dragon. Dark Soul must get to the key to the door, as well as the manual of the seal. The manual is in Dragonia. You must stop Dark Soul. The seal must not be broken. Go to Prompt. There you shall find another shining path. A tomb, quick! This place is collapsing! Run! Oh, okay, I guess I guess that's it for now. Let's just uh blitz on out of there. Ooh, oh, whoa, 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 okay, I guess that's that. Hello, Friar Man. I talk to you. I was right. The shining path was here too. Too bad it's not blocked. Alright, well that's a shame. But I think that'll be the end of today's episode, guys. We did two battles. I don't think we've ever done two battles in one episode. I'm proud of myself, and I'm awesome. I'm, I'm loving the fact that we have the fast forward button, and now it makes this actually doable. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro Shining Force, where we actually go to prompt. Hopefully, I think. I guess. I don't know. But, you know, we're, gonna, we're also going to try to maybe check out that uh, underwater building that the guy was talking about, who seems to know me, but I've never seen him before. But, yeah. We'll go check that out as well. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. If you liked today's episode of Let's Retro Shining Force, go ahead and leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and join the Curly Crew. That way you guys already know when I drop a brand new episode. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time, and I will hopefully see you all again tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.